what's this? Is the go straight to the court? I don't know what to do. Court, hey, if you have to go now, hey, Jesus, if you have to go now, please, come on, if you have, please, you can't do this. Wake up, wake up, please, please, babe, please, hey, Jesus, Jesus, hey, God, do, do, George, George. George, George, don't say it. George, please don't say it. Don't tell me that Vivian is dead, please. Calm don't down. say it. Calm down. You, you need to put yourself together. Listen. She's fine, Abby. I think she's dead. How can she be dead now? What Vivian dead? Please now. We have a bright future together. Please don't go. Please now. Wake up. <laughs> go, George. Oh, like do. Oh, like do. Oh, you can't tell me to be strong. This is somebody I was just playing with a minute ago and now she's dead. I'm telling me to be strong. Down. I know. This is a dream. George, please, 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 Put it on speaker. Let's know what she has to say. Let's be sure she doesn't know her sister is here. I hate you, baby. Go. Speak it. Hello, big sis. Yes. Ask me to stop. Yes, I, I've arrived. I'm at the city. Please, can you just come and pick me up? Please, just come now, please. You, you, you know I don't know anywhere around here. Please, I'm waiting for you, please. of network is this? And is my sister battery low or why 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 switch off? Why is it not reachable again? I just I just I just spoke with her a few minutes ago. I don't understand. No. Not again. I need to look for somewhere and wait for her because her number is not reachable. What is all this? Where will I go to? My sister is fine because please don't like her. She, she has not even tried calling me back. Wait a minute. When I was talking to her, she never uttered a word. I didn't even hear her voice. I hope she's fine. She didn't say anything to me. The next minute, has. Her phone is switched off. I 
soup, she's fine. Why did you switch off the phone? That's a kid's sister, for goodness sake. Of course I know, but from what she said on the phone, she doesn't know that her sister is here. And also another good thing is that she doesn't know about me. So what are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is, for now, we are safe. Nobody knows that Vivian came here. Also, are you sure there's nothing we can do to revive her? Bro, you were right there when I did just about everything to try and revive her, but she's dead! She had no pulse, she wasn't breathing! Hmm. If only you had listened to me when I said, let me call the hospital. We need to find a way out of this right now. What way? What way? I don't know. God. We just need to think. We need to think. Somebody's at the door. Somebody's at the door. Calm down. Somebody's at the door now. Just calm down. Let me go and attend to it. I'll be right back. Julius, what is it? Um, it's Madame Vivian that said I should bring this club from the tailor uh, in the estate here. And take it to her? No, she said I should bring it to her directly. Are you normal? I said I would deliver her message. Give it to me. What's wrong with you? Oga, Oga, she promised to give me something when I bring it. Oh, ah. she can't this one again now. Who was that? A very inconsequential being. Please let's not allow that distract us. We have a problem at hand. What's that? Vivian's clothes. The gate man brought it. Now, if you ask me, Oliver, I think we should just call the police and let them know what happened. Don't, don't, don't even go there. The police will not believe me. They will not believe that it was an accident. They won't. So what are you insinuating? Whoa, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just confused. Oh, okay, you tell me what to do. Tell me. Wait. Come to think of it. It's not just you that will be accused. I would also be accused because I live in this house and that makes me an accomplice. Oh, my God. That means... No, no, no. No, there's no way I'm going to allow anything to affect my reputation at work. Nothing will stop me from becoming the bank manager. Nothing is going to stop me from achieving all what I've worked so hard to achieve all these years. Look, we have to find a way out of this, okay? We have to find a way. We need to think. How do we get out of this? How? I think we should bury her. No. Yes. This is Vivian we're talking about. This is the love of my life. I can't just bury her anyhow. She deserves a befitting burial. If we tell, see, you know what? I'm just going to come clean to the police. I'll tell them what happened. And whatever they want to do is fine. No, you're not going to do that. Because if you do that, you will go to jail. Not just you. I would also go to jail. Let's think about this clearly, okay? Calm down. Let's think about it clearly. So, basically, nobody knows that she's here. Yeah. Her parents don't know she's here. Mm -hmm. They don't know she came here. Which means nobody would even search for her here. She left school for this place, right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, the way it seems right now, the way I see it is, um, if we tell the police about it, we are only going to be causing more troubles. And the truth is that she's dead and gone. Nothing can bring her back to life. Okay. So you see, our best option here, my brother, our best option is is to get rid of her body. Let's, oh. let's, let's find a way and no way. Let's bury her. I can't just bury her and get rid of her body. Okay, what do you want us to do this now? This is Vivian. You're just kind I to cannot me. go to jail. I, I would not. I would not go to jail. Bro, this is Vivian now. This is someone that saved my own life. I'm so, what she did so what do we do? She's gone. She's dead. What do we do about it? Oh, do you want to go to jail? No, you want to go can't bury her like a dog. I can't. 
down. Oh, get a girl. Get a girlfriend. Look at me. Come oh, on, you guys can yab me all you like. <laughs> but you know how it is. This is Nigeria. I mean, most relationships are transactional. To find the right woman, ah. Well, you can't try. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. Not everyone is as lucky as you both. That's because you don't want to open your heart to love. Open your heart. Stop being a hard guy. Be free. Right. Mr. Open your heart. <laughs> Do you know how many I've opened my heart to? Speaking of love. Ever since I met you, it's been my peace. My foundation. My rock. My home. And it would be stupid of me to not make you my home forever. Yeah. I've this friend for months now. Would you be able to be the happiest man of life and marry me? Oh my goodness. Maybe you're so full of surprises. Yes. <laughs> bravo! Bravo! <laughs> okay, I think this calls for a much, baby. A toast. Yeah, a toast. A toast. I, I didn't see this one. <laughs> okay. A I didn't want to see. A toast to the brand new couple. Yeah. May your union be ever graceful. May your love keep blossoming like a rose flower. <laughs> are you okay? Hey, bro. Are you good? Are you alright? Hey! Hey, hey! Are you okay? Oh my god! Are you alright? Hold on, what's that? Are you checking? Somebody out! Let me get a second. Hold on! Oh my god! Are you okay? Somebody help! George, please be fast! George! Please! 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 My love, I can't stay a minute without you. Please stay strong for me. I don't want anything to happen to you. I thought the drunk behavior had solved this kidney issue. So what's all this? Doctor. Die. What's the situation of things now? Um, the situation here is that if we do not conduct a kidney transplant in the next one week, we may lose him. God forbid. 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 But someone has to donate his or her kidney for him to survive. And in the next one week, he doesn't have enough time. Oh, Jesus. Put that in reality. Kidney. Uh, okay, get your doctor will go ahead. You can carry out the necessary test on me. I will gladly donate the kidney to my friend. Uh, are you sure about this? Yes, I'm very sure about it. Um, if that is the case, that means we have to carry out the I'm ready, doctor. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Are you sure about this? 100%. Okay, doctor, let's go. Don't no, worry, you'll be fine, okay? You'll be good. Mr. Judge, the mm -hmm. test result is out. Okay, Doctor. Um, but unfortunately, your kidney is not compatible with this. What? Oh my goodness. No! no. Oh, Jesus! Oh, George! That's the reality. And uh, we need a suitable donor in the next one week for him to stay alive. That's the only way. Oh my God. Oh, George! And the earlier the better, we don't have time. Oh, <laughs> 
Honestly, I have done everything I can do. I've done everything possible. I mean, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what we can do again. And sadly, he's an orphan. He grew up in a motherless baby home. And there's no way of reaching his parents. You already know that. So right now, as it is, we are all alone. Do you know how much it costs to buy a kidney? We can't even afford that. from the lab. The doctor conducted a kidney test on me and he said mine matches yours meaning I am suitable to donate one of my kidneys to you. Get ready. We'll soon start the process for the kidney transplant. You're kidding right? My love I am not. It's better to live with one kidney and have your life. Can live with both kidneys and have you dead. Life will be nothing without you. If giving you one of my kidneys will keep you alive for me, then I'll be happy to live in you. Let my kidney live in you so you can stay alive for me. I love you so much and I can't live without you. The lady you're telling me to secretly bury gave me her kidney. She gave me a second chance in life. She stood by me when my health was failing. She did what most people wouldn't do for their relatives. And that's the same lady you want me to just, just bury in the bush like some dog? Oliver, you are being more emotional than logical right now. Can I ask you a question? Did you kill her? No! You were there, you saw what happened. It was an accident. Exactly, you did not kill her. It was an accident, so I don't see why you're attaching too much emotions to this. But now listen up. If we tell the police about it, we would go to jail and we'll be charged for murder. My God. We'll be charged for murder. That means they're going to execute us. Do you understand what I'm saying? Jesus. Okay, if, if, if that's your fear, then you don't have to worry. I'll, I'll tell the police that you're not here. I'll tell them you're not even at home. But I have to give her a befitting burial. She said that she was kind to me. Listen to me, listen to you. You're not going to go anywhere. You're not going to do anything. Do you hear me? I'm not going to let you cause me any more trouble. Why don't you just calm down and use your brain? Stop allowing your emotions cloud your sense of reasoning. Look, going to the police is not going to bring Vivian back alive. She's not going to come back to life. Do you understand? Listen, but our lives are on the line. Our careers are on the line. And hey, I, I touched the body, I touched the body. So even if forensics checks the body, they will see my fingerprints. I am already an accomplice to murder. We need to find a way and get rid of her body. Okay, we, um, I think we should take her. We should take her to any, any faraway bush and, and bury her somewhere. Yes, yes, that's the right thing to do right now. This is hard for me now. This is very hard for me. I totally understand. I understand it's not easy. It's not easy to do this. This is the first time I'm doing this too. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to do this, but I... We cannot, we cannot do this to our careers. I have worked so hard to get to where I am. And where I'm going to, no one is going to stop me. So we have to go and do this. All right? Let's get the body and bury her now. Oh, we'll find a bush somewhere. We'll find somewhere. Somewhere safe over there. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Sir. Down the street. Down, you are talking. Down, that very last shop. Buy me bread. Fresh okay. one, oh. Okay. Hot bread, fresh one. If she does not have, you go to this other street. Down, okay. there's one other guy. Ibrahim okay. or Sue. Okay, sir. That's where I want to buy bread. Okay, sir.
officer, do they? Yes. Well done. Yes, how are you? Thanks, Hi, sir. sir. Uh, you're welcome, man. Eh? How is it? We thank God. Uh, can you come down from the bed? Don't be afraid of that. Stop and search. We are doing our job. So, who are you guys? Uh, my name is um, George. Okay. I'm a banker. I work with FTC Bank. Okay. And I'm Oliver. I'm a web designer for FTC Bank. Wow. Still a few work in the bank. Yes. Nice one, nice one. Good statistics. Mm. What do you have in the boot? Um, Can I see your boot? Open the boot. <laughs> so, we don't have anything good. We're, we're actually late for a meeting. We're about an hour late. There's nothing there. Uh, open the boot. I would like to see your boot. Hmm? There's no problem about that. You, you, you said you're a banker. Yes, sir. Nice, nice one, nice one. Let me see your boot. Eh? <laughs> so that you can go. Um, we are kind of in a hurry, sir. In a hurry. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, bankers are always in a haste. No problem yeah. about that. Eh? No problem. I wasn't planning to open an account with your with your bank. Oh, fine. It's our pension, I don't understand. Uh -huh. Fine, no problem. I, I I can help you out with that. Yes, okay. I really love to. I really love to. Okay, let, let me give you my card. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Right. Papa, you allow them pass, eh? Okay. These are the citizens you are talking card. about. Okay, just okay, call this me anytime. Number. Yes, that's my number. Really? Yes, okay. Call me anytime. I'll, I'll, I'll assist it's you. It's okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Hmm? Thank you, sir. I'll do that. I'll allow them pass. Let them pass. Thank you. Okay. Let's do this thing. We don't have all day. you're doing to yourself. You've been crying since we came back from the burial. Why don't you try and get some sleep so you could rest? George. George, I can't. I can't. The moment I close my eyes, I see her. I see Vivian. George, why did that do this to me? Why did it have to use its hold hands and take her away from me? Why? Bro, what has happened? has happened. There's nothing you can do about it. Nothing will change it. But if you keep thinking about it that way, it's going to weigh you down. Try and get it off your mind. It's not as easy as you think. It's not. Vivian was my all. She was my queen. See, you can't stop worrying about me. Just go to your room and rest. Don't worry anymore. But I just can't sleep. I can't. Death, death has taken my love. George, George, I can't do it. It's okay. It's alright. George. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We are blind.
you okay? Why, why are you crying? I'm stranded, sir. My sister is schooling in a state university here. She lives around this environment and she asked me to come visit her. And I came all the way from the village. I got to the bus stop, she asked me to stop. She also told me to call her the moment I get to the bus stop. But I called. I keep on calling. Her phone rang. She did not pick. She didn't even, she didn't even try calling me back. I even have to call again. She did not pick. Since yesterday I got to the junction. Up to now, her phone is switched off. I even had to sleep on the road here. Oh, that's really sad. You know what? Why don't you... Why don't you come inside the car? Let me take you to my house, okay, so you can pass the night there. And um, in case your sister is able to reach you or you can reach her, or you're able to reach her rather, then um, she can also come to my house to pick you up from there. Thank you so much. Please, I can't forget from Japanese. Look, I understand your fears, okay? I totally understand it. But it is not safe for you to be on this street. This, this road is not safe. It's lonely. So like I said before, I can't follow you. I really appreciate it. Please. Okay, why don't we do this? You pass the night in my house, and tomorrow I will assist you in searching for your sister. Because it's not safe here, believe me. You help me search for my sister. I would let me help you with your bag. Oliver, why? Jesus! Jesus! Why did you bury me like a dog? Please, Vivian, please, I did not kill you. Please don't kill me. I'm sorry. Please don't kill me, Vivian, please. I know you did not kill me. What have I done to deserve such miserable burial? Why? I, I swear I didn't want to bury you that way. I wanted to report to the police, but George convinced me not to. I'm sorry, please. I need to be buried properly. My people need to know that I am dead. Okay. Assume my body and bury me in my father's land. Okay. Oliver, assume my body and bury me in my father's land. <laughs> Jesus! 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 Ah, Oga, are you okay? I heard you scream and it got me scared. <laughs> Did you see anybody enter this house? No. Besides, the keys are in my pocket. Nobody came in. Ah. Oga, um, please, where is your wife to be? She promised to give me something before she leave yesterday, but... My family, will you shut up and go and man the gates? Go and man the gates, go and do your work. Oliver, he's like a brother to me. We live here together. Then why did he run out like that? I'm surprised. You know, why don't you just sit here and wait for me? Let me check up on him.
is that? George, is that you? It's me. Why did you run off like that? Open this door. Why did you drop that? Why did you even sweat it? She was here. I swear I thought she was here. I spoke to her. Who was here? She was here. She saw Vivian in our living room. I saw her here. She told me to exhume her body. I buried it in her father's blood. I saw her. Come on, man. You're just your mind playing tricks on you. It's your mind. Come on, look. She's dead and gone. Life ends when one stops breathing. George, this is not about what you believe in. I said I saw Vivian here. And telling me that I know that. I saw him in my eyes. I'm telling you that it's your mind playing tricks on you. Come down. You just, you're, you're hallucinating. That's it. George, I know what I saw now. Would I be lying? I know what I saw. I, I look at her in the eye. Do you want me to prove it to you? Eh? That she's not here. She's not in this house. Can I prove it to you? Vivian! No! Vivian, where are you? Hello, Vivian? Can you hear me, Vivian? You see, there's nobody. What's wrong with you? You're just freaking out. Get yourself together, man. I saw her. Just chill, just calm down. By the way, I have a guest. She's in the living room. Who? Oh, she's a girl I met on the road when I just went out to clean my head. I saw her standing by the road. Well, she's stranded, but she looks really cute and I actually think I like her for some reason. So I'm trying to help her out. She's going to be spending the night here. I don't care. Do you want to come out and see her and say hello? Get yourself together, let's go. Come on, clean up, clean up. You look like a mess. Get yourself together. Hi. Hi. Good day, sir. Good day. I'm Oliver. I'm Chantal. Wow, beautiful name. Welcome to our humble abode. You can make yourself comfortable. My friend here is on the name. All right. I'll leave you here, guys. Okay. Thanks. Why don't you sit down? Okay. Sit. Thank you, sir. All right. So I'll just go and get you something to eat. Okay. Uh. Chantel, can you see me? Chantel. Chantel, I am dead, but I was buried in the bush. Tell them to take you to the bush they buried me so my corpse can be assumed and taken to our own town. Chantel. Chantel, I am talking to you. Can't you hear me? Chantel, can't you see me? Chantel, can't you see me? Chantel. Chantel, I'm talking to you. Chantel, Chantel, listen to me. I'm talking to you. Chantel, I'm talking to you. She can't see me. So, um, thing is, I'm a banker. I've been working with my bank for so many years. I've given so much. And it now seems like my luck is beginning to shine because I'm being offered. I mean, okay, yes, I call it being offered because I'm being considered for the position of um, the manager. Yes, and that's a big deal for me. <laughs> I'm also very much single. Um, Chantel, the, the, the truth is that I think you're very beautiful and I admire you a lot. Thank you very much, sir. But my major concern right now is my sister. That's the only thing I can think of. Like, I'm beginning to get angry over it. I really need to connect with my sister. I need to speak with her. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, I will take you tomorrow to her school so we can look for her there. I yeah. really appreciate that. What <laughs> sounds like my friend's voice. I hope it's okay. <laughs> Hey! Bro, what have you done to your 
myself! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Oh! Hey, 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 bro, why, why did you do this to yourself? Why did you do this to yourself? Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine, okay? I promise you, you'll be fine! Get me tissue, get me tissue! I need to stop the bleeding! Hurry up! Okay, bro, easy, Just easy. Ah, fuck. Hold up. No! <laughs> He's not doing well. He's not doing good at all. Oh my god. Do people still love this way? I, I mean, does this kind of love still exist? He wants to kill himself because his girlfriend is dead. Their love was very deep. You should have seen them together. They play like kids. The problem right now is that his blood is rare. It will be difficult to get his blood type. What's his blood group? B positive. That's my blood group. I can help him. The doctor can take enough blood from me to save his life. Shut up. This is good news. This is excellent news. You know what? I need to go and tell the doctor about the new blood next. Oliver, why did you do this to yourself? Why do you have to stab yourself because of me? Because I miss you, my love. I want to be where you are. You shouldn't have to do that. Because you were not the one that killed me. Besides, you need to fulfill your destiny on earth. Oliver, go back. You are my destiny, my love. You are the treasure that I seek. Didn't you miss me? Don't you want me to be with you? Oliver, don't come close. Don't. Because if you do, you will die. I want you to go back. Take my phone, call my people, tell them I'm dead. Assume my body and bury me properly. Oliver, go! yourself now. Why? I'm sorry, bro. You know, I had to see her. I needed her. I can't live without her. My life is miserable. But you know I'm always here for you. And you're still going to find another good woman. You're still going to find her. You have not lost everything. I've lost everything, George. Oh, come on. She was the love of my life. <sighs> she was my love. I can't replace her. So you don't need to say that. That's not the best way to settle issues. Just imagine everyone being in a bad situation and they try to kill themselves. Mm -hmm. Nobody will be on this earth. Yes, I know how it feels to lose a loved one. But you don't have to hold yourself or kill yourself because just remember that killing yourself is a sin before God. George, who is she? She's my friend. She came to the house yesterday. Do you remember? Oh. She was with me when you screamed. Oh, yeah. Bro, you need to thank her. Because she's the one who donated her blood for your treatment. Oh. You know your blood type is very rare. But luckily, all thanks to God. She shares the same blood group with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. I appreciate you. You are welcome, sir. But please don't try this again, okay? 
George, I need to be going to the village. My sister number have not been collecting up to now. And I need some tea to go. No, no, no. You don't have to go now. I mean, you just donated blood to him, so you must be weak. Why don't you just relax in my house? I'll take good care of you and I'll make sure everything works out fine. I need to. Don't worry, you'll be fine. All you have to do is get enough rest, eat enough fruits, and also take your medication. Thanks, George. I also want to use this opportunity to apologize for trying to take my life. It's okay. I was just frustrated that I lost my woman. My life is meaningless without her. Oh, sir, please don't say that. Your life is not meaningless without her. We have different destinies. That was why we were brought into this world. Look, you are still alive today on this earth because there is a space that no one can replace but you. Are you a student of psychology? Not at all, sir. I came into the States to study medicine. Medicine? No wonder your words are medicinal. <laughs> Alright, uh... Bye. I'll go in and get you some fruits, okay? All so right. Thanks, man. Only little time I spend with you makes me feel so right. Tell me how to cut down there. It's just in my way. Everything I do, I'm missing you. Yes, I do. Feeling so hot, deep down, it's affecting my attitude. You are here again thinking. Do you want to kill yourself? Honestly, I don't like this. Huh? Well, I prepared a delicious meal for you. It's at the dining. Please, come and eat. I don't want to eat. I don't have appetite. I just want to be left alone. You have started again. The last time you were left alone, you almost killed yourself. You need people around you to heal. Look, you can't be taking drugs on empty stomach. Drugs and food works together. Come on. I don't want to ever heal from the pain of her death. I don't even know why I'm alive. This was one that loved me with all her heart. She still lives in me. She donated her kidney to me. Wow. Now she's gone. This is huge. You mean she gave you one of her kidney? That means she loves you so much. Why did she die? Like, what happened? Um, uh, uh, her parents told me that she was involved in a car accident. Oh my god. So sorry about that, okay? Has she been buried? Yeah. She was buried immediately. Don't worry. It's well. Sorry about that. May her beautiful soul keep resting in peace. Oliver, stop lying. Stop. You're getting me angry. Tell my sister the truth. Oliver, listen to me. I love you so much and I know you're not the cause of my death. But I will not rest in peace until you assume my body and bury me in my father's land. Assume my body and bury me in my father's land.
Shut up. Oh, please, please. Vivian, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please, please, please. I didn't do anything to you. Don't kill me. Please. You're so wicked. Why will you suggest to your friend to bury me in the bush? How would you feel if someone related to you is treated with such disdain? I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to say it. I, I wasn't thinking straight. I wasn't thinking straight. Please, please, please forgive me. I've already made the mistake. Just, just forgive me, please. I know Oliver did not kill me. But bury me in the bush like a dog is what I won't take. Tell your friend to assume my corpse and bury me properly in my father's land. Don't try my patience. Okay, okay. I, I'll do anything you want. I'll do it. I'll do it, please. I'll do it, please. Just, just, just don't kill me. Please, I beg you. I beg you, please. Please. Please, please, please. 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 To my family, I need you to give me last respect. Do I speak so loud? Please tell me now. Am I out my mind? I wouldn't lie. I, I just wanna spend the life with you. The life with you. Call your mind and true. No lies. But things turns out to be this way now. I want you to take me out from where you kept me Cause I deserve better use of no I'm not so low, but I'm being so wrong Jesus! Mm. Jesus! Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please Please, I beg of you, please Oliver, stop! I am not here to kill you Okay Listen to me attentively the girl living in this house with you is my blood sister. Jesus! Chantel is your blood sister? Yes, she is. She came into the city to see me before the incident that led to my death. She couldn't get to me because you switched off my phone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want you to tell my sister the truth. Okay. Assume my body and give me a befitting barrier. As you can see, she's a nice person. It runs in our vein. Reason she could donate her blood to save a stranger like you. Just like I donated one of my kidneys to save you. Don't arm my sister. Tell her the truth. It's not like I don't want to tell her, but if I tell anybody, nobody will believe me. The police will jail me. My career will end. Tell my sister the truth. That's what I want. It's just that. It's just that what? It's, it's true. What is true? You're making me uncomfortable. Uh, You're scaring me. You're very beautiful. That's it. It's true. Please stop pulling my legs. <laughs> Chantel, I'm not pulling your legs. You know what? I I wanted to appreciate you. You know, for for saving my life. Please give me your, your account number. No. Listen, everything I did for you was of my own free will. You don't need to pay. Yeah, I'm not paying. I just want to thank you. You saved my life. I just want to appreciate you. Please, use the money to buy whatever you want to buy. It's yours. It's just something light. Please, let me. Please. Thank you. Okay. All right. I've sent it. Has it sent? Yeah, now it has sent. That's it. One million naira. You deserve it. Thank you so much. No, you saved my life. 
You're welcome. Thank you. Ah, no, now come Thank on. You. you saved my life. It's fine. It's please, too much. please get up. Please, please, please get up. Get up. Get up. Is enough. Eh? I am not stressing such a lot. It is fine. Please get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Later. There's something important I need to tell you. There's also something I need to tell you. Let me talk to you. Okay. Something very mysterious that I've never experienced in my life just happened. Vivian, you're Vivian. Uh -huh. She appeared to me. She said mm -hmm. we need to we need to exhume her body okay. and bury her in her father's place. She looked very, very angry, believe me. Okay, believe me. Hear, hear what I have to say. Okay. So Vivian told me that Chatel is her sister, her blood sister. What? Yes. She told you that? Yes. My goodness. Are you serious right now? Yes. Chantel. <laughs> She told me that her sister came looking for her but was stranded as a result of the incident that led to her death. It all makes sense now. You found her on the road. What a coincidence. Okay, so what are you going to do now? Are you going to tell her the truth? I don't know. I'm scared. In fact, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. Honestly, I feel like we are stuck in between the devil and the deep blue sea. What do we do now? What do we do? I don't know, but I mean, I think I'm just going to be nice to Chantel. Because I feel guilty about what happened to Vivian. And funny enough, I've started growing feelings for her. I just feel like I like her a lot. <sighs> Please stop right there. Oh. Just stop right there. Let's face one problem before we do another. Stop right there. <sighs> Man, I'm confused. I, I, I... Hey. Welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you. How was work today? Well, work was fine. Here's what. What? Oliver, your friend, gave me some one million naira, and he asked me to get anything I want. Hmm. Now I know you people are very nice people. <laughs> Wait. My friend gave you one million naira. And he never told me about it. Anyway, I'm going to do much more than that for you because you deserve it. Thank you, sir. I don't know how to thank him. Please, sir, help me thank him for me because nobody has ever given <sighs> such amount of money. Sir, why is your face like this? Are you not happy that your friend gave me the money? No, no, it's just that. I had a hectic day at the office. Mm, it's all right. <sighs> Listen, I don't know how to put this, Chantel. I, I really. Out! <sighs> what is the problem, sir? Uh, um. Chantel, don't fall in love with him. He's a liar. They're deceiving you. They're not telling you the truth. Get the police involved and arrest them. They buried me in the bush. Chantel! Chantel, I am talking to you! Chantel! What is the problem? Why do you scream and suddenly turn around as if you're saying something? I'm talking to you. Um. Um. Later. I'm. 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 I'm fine. Are I think sure? I'm. I'm fine. I'm. I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you sure you are all right? Yes, I'm fine. Please come with me. Take me back to my family. I need you to give me last respect. Must be so loud. Please tell me now. 
Am I out my mind? Chantel, why are you crying? What's wrong? Talk to me, what's the problem? I'm worried about my sister. I'm just angry about everything. I need to go look for my sister. That's the major reason I came here. Oh. I need to do something. I can't just be here where my sister is nowhere to be found. I'm not happy. I understand. George, mm. I think we should go to the police station and file a missing person report. Yes, yes. Let the police swing into action and search for her. All right, let's let, let's go. Let's go. Let me keep the points, please. Let's go to the station. All right, let's go. I'm going to keep going. Look up. Okay. Take me back to my family. I need you to give me last respect. Do I speak to the love? Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What can I do for you people? So my name is Chantel Rukafo. I came to make a report about my missing sister. I've been trying to connect her for the past few days, but I found I've been switched off. I can't find my sister. Please, I came here so you can help me look for my sister. You mean since you right? For the past few days now, I've not seen my sister. What is her name? Her name is Vivian. Vivian Rukafo, my blood sister. Vivian Rukafo. Let me see her picture. Okay. So, who are these people with you? So, who are we friends? As a friend. Do you live around? Uh, uh, yes, yes, sir. Uh, we don't live too far from here. Okay. Mm. We will make an entry. Yes, sir. Huh? Yeah, we will make an entry. Then, so we can start work. Mm. So, why it won't happen here? And then. You need to mobilize us so that we can start work. And then after this thing, I'll meet my DPO and explain everything to him. We, we need money to do some certain things. Like we have to place her name on the radio station, daily newspaper, and so many places in order for us to Make sure we get the good results. Hmm? Don't, don't worry, sir. I'll handle that. Oh, you yes. can do that. Okay. You can do that immediately. Okay. And you think, so you want us to begin work? Yes, yes, sir. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. That's not the problem. I'll do that in Once she's done. Okay. We'll stop that. All right. Who's that? Oh, Auntie! Ah. Auntie, so your face is like this. I hope all is well. I've been looking for my sister for some time now. Ah. All effort to get her proof about him. The other day, I had to follow George and Oliver to report to the police station. But up to now, the police are still investigating. Hey! This is serious, oh. So where must you have gone? Honestly, I can't say. Hey. I don't even know if my sister is still alive. I don't even know. Like, this is strange because she has never acted like this before. Hey. I've only been switched up for some days now. Like, I don't know. Um, you see, I'm not just a git man here. I'm also an indigenous of this environment. So I don't know if you have a picture on your phone. So you show me if I check yes, around, if I can see her. Me. Hey, hey. What's going on here? Uh, Oga, oh she she says she's looking for her sister. So uh, I told her if she has the picture on her phone so that she can show me, I can help her investigate it. Sir. You must be a big fool. Look at you. You that don't know your way around. You that cannot even help yourself. You're trying to help someone else. You're an idiot. That's what you are. Please, Chantel, please go inside. Please go inside, don't worry. Come here. Have you washed the car I asked you to wash? Car? Um, Didn't I tell you to wash my car? Would you hurry up and do it? Idiot. Uh, Chantal, please, just, 
Just wait for me, sir. Julius! Sir! Come here. Listen to me. Come here. Hey, hey, come, come. Listen, 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 listen. Don't you ever in your life prognose into an affair that does not concern you. Oh, okay, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If I ever hear or see you ask about the picture or about her sister, you lose your job. And if she ever comes to you asking about her sister or trying to show you any picture, you say you do not know anything about it. Yes, sir. I haven't made myself clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you want to lose your job? No, sir. No, sir. I go. But, sir, I was only trying to help her out. Your help is not needed here. Your job here is to open the gate and to lock the gate. That's your job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Leave! I'm sorry, sir. Leon is such a nice person. The way you keep on showing me love on a regular basis, it gets me crazy. Why do you do that? I mean, I owe you my life. It's not every day you see a stranger willing to donate blood to you for free. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. You've thanked me enough, Mila. The other day you gave me the sum of one million naira. Honestly, I'm grateful to God that I met a beautiful soul like you. Thank you so much. I mean, it's no biggie. But honestly, it's nothing because if you see what I have found for you, <laughs> you have your money on. Are you serious? Yeah. I love surprises. <laughs> oh, wow, I can't wait then. Eh? Sure. Here go. Thank you so much. Only a little time I spend with you makes me feel so right. Tell me how to come up now, that it's in my way. Everything I do, I'm missing you, yes, I do. Feeling so hot, deep down, it's perfect my attitude. You know I need you more than ever. No, I want you. I just wanna be in the wild with you. Where the life would stay. I'm sorry that you hear no more. Speaking to my every night and morning. I know that you miss me more than I do Cause you're loving not true Knowing that you're dead I'm losing my attitude I'm losing it I, I, I Lose it now Take me back to my family I need you to give me last respect do I speak so loud? Please tell me now. Am I out my mind? I won't lie. I, I just wanna spend the life with you. Spend the life with you. Call your mind and true. No lies. But things turns out to be this way now. I want you to take me out from where you kept me. Cause I deserve better. You said no. I'm not so low. Well, I'm being so wrong. What is it? You just pushed me to the chair. <laughs> And why are you staring at your friend in such a manner? George, what's wrong? I should be the one asking you what's the meaning of this. I want to see you outside, now! What are you doing with my girlfriend? I thought I told you that I like her. So, so what are you doing gallivanting around town with her? Buying her gifts, trying to play down on me, making me look like some, some stingy guy. No, 
Oh, no, now it's not like that. You know, I told you that I want to make her happy because I feel guilty about what happened to Vivian. That's all. Oh, yes, I remember you telling me that, but don't you think you're doing way too much? Huh? And you know how jealous I can be? I don't like her and I will never like her. Bro, what I told you is in line with what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, but why just why stop doing it. Me? Stop doing it. Ah. Spend with you makes me feel so right. Tell me how to cope now that it's in my way. Everything I do, I'm missing you, yes I do. Feeling so hard, deep down, it's affecting my attitude. You know what I need. What is this? I don't like your containers. You have been acting funny after you saw the both of us together. Yes. He bought all those stores for me just to make me happy. Nothing much. Remember your friend is a nice person. What in God's name are you doing with my friend? <sighs> Chantel, you know exactly how I feel about you. So why are you following my best friend around? Why? Don't you know it's a slap to my face? You are getting all this wrong. Oliver is a nice person. Yes, he bought all the stuff for me. Not that he's in love with me or he has feelings for me. No, babe. He made it clear to me that he has no zero feelings for me. Listen, I am not saying you shouldn't associate with him. What I'm saying is you shouldn't be so intimate. It's hurting me. Please understand me. You are getting this all wrong. Chantal. Chantal, is, 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 is that you? What is it? This is me, Chantal. Why are you acting abnormal? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm fine. I'm, I'm okay. okay, it's fine. Please just try to understand me. At least you should be convinced. <laughs> Why is this guy acting abnormal? What is wrong with him? Touch! 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 What happened? I saw her. I saw her in the room. I saw her in the room. I saw her. I saw her. Get down. Oh my god. Get away from me. Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's going on? Get away from me. So what's the problem? Why are, you, why are you scared of me? What is that? I don't know why your friend is behaving abnormal. Are you sure he's fine? He's fine. Nothing is wrong with him. Can you just give us some space? It, it, it's okay. Touch, what happened now? Huh? What happened? When I was I was in the room having a conversation with her, uh -huh. all of a sudden, Vivian appeared hey. and took her position. That's why I freaked out and I ran. It looks like Chantal noticed something is not right. That's why she was saying that I'm behaving abnormal, right? You see what I was saying? That's why I said that we should spoil our sister and make her happy. So Vivian can rest in peace and you're here fighting me. We have to yes, work yes. together. Yes, I, I think I understand now. I think I do. I, are you okay? I'm not okay. I'm far from okay. Just relax, relax. Take me back to my family. I need you to give me less respect. <sighs> Uh, 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 you're the best. Me too. Mm. Uh, Stalin, uh, don't grab me there now. Uh, What would I be dreaming of? Doing things with a ghost. Oh God. What kind of life is this? Jesus, Vivian. Oh, Vivian, oh, please. Vivian, I'm tired. Just don't kill me. I'm tired. Don't kill me, please. Edge off. I didn't come to harm you. I know you were being deceived to bury me in that bush. Yes. And I ate the sight of your evil friend. I want you to help me. Okay. 
Don't allow him to have anything to do with my sister. And as for you, I know you have a good heart. And I see the good things you do for my sister. But that's not enough. If you truly want my happiness and you want me to rest in peace, assume my body, take it to my father's land and give me a befitting barrier. If you truly want my happiness, do this for me. Don't get me angry, please. Chantel, I'm sorry about the way I behaved earlier. Honestly, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. Um, look, Chantel, I... What's going on? I don't know something. Something is within my body. Something is within my body. George, what? You don't see anything. I, I, I think it's there. I think it's there. It's all your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. This is happening to me. Oh God. It was my fault. I, I was confused now. First time I was confused. I didn't know what to do. I told you when she passed out on the floor that we should call the hospital. So the hospital can help her. But you said no. You were scared. But I told you that we should report the case to the police. Oh, after we found out she was dead. Do you remember what happened to us when the police find out? You, you know what? I'm done. I'm going to go and tell Chantel the truth. I'll tell her what really happened to us. You're not doing anyway. This is something you're not going to get us into more trouble. How do you go to her and tell her that her sister Vivian died in our house? How? What is it? What do you want? Um, sir, it's about uh, Vivian. And the, the last time she came, she promised to give me something for my mother's hospital bill. Uh, I, I, and I didn't know when she left. So, I'm kind of ask, do you have any problem? Because I've not been seeing her around. What is your problem? Huh? What is your problem? Do you have anything to do with her that she needs to tell no. you when she's leaving my house? No, no. It's just that I'm, I'm anxious. I'm anxious because... Unlike her, anytime she wants to leave, she always keeps to her promise. And uh, it's, 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 it's absurd. You know, it's not like her. You know, Auntie Vivian is a good woman. Anytime she promises me something, she always gives me. So, sir, I wanted to ask, did anything happen? Do you have a fight or a quarrel? You're very, very stupid for asking me that question. I'm You're very, a fool. Very, very sorry, sir. The next time you ask me that, that, that kind of question again, or you talk about Vivian in this house, I'll kill you. I'm very sorry. Get out! I'm very sorry, sir. Would you get out, get out. How did you kill my sister? Which of you? Killed my sister. Tell me the truth. Would you she fell? Would you think that she slipped and fell? I swear. No, no, no. My sister can't be dead. My, 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 my sister can, can, cannot, cannot die like that. Sorry. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you killed my sister. Oh. I swear, we did not. You did not tell me all this. Why? I couldn't. You were evil! You were evil! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
I knew. So you killed my sister and you're hiding it from me all this while. Are you out of your mind? Have you lost your senses? Who told you that nonsense that I killed your sister? How do you slap me? How dare you? Oh. How dare you try to slap my sister? <clears throat> if you know what's best for you, take out the way you bury me, else I'll kill you. <laughs> My queen. You know I love you so much, right? I know. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking. This is the time we, you know, have sex. Yeah. Are you sure? That's the same thing I want. But we, you know, we just finished having it. So give me one week. One week? Yes. I, I, I can't, I can't <laughs> wait one week. I want it now. <laughs> uh, I want it now. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh bite it! Ah. I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna grab you! If I catch you! If I catch you now! If I... Vivian! 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 There's no blood. What's going on? She's not breathing. Vivian! I need to call the hospital now. Which hospital? Wait! Don't say that trouble now, they will call police. Bro, she probably just passed out. I, I think the paramedics are in the best position to resuscitate paramedics. her. Do you think we have paramedics in this country? See, let, let's just take her upstairs. She probably fainted. There's no blood now. Okay, what do you want us to do? Take her upstairs for air. She'll wake up. Oh, man, I don't know why we're doing this. Okay, you, you carry her leg. Let's see what we can do. George, don't say it. George, please don't say it. Don't tell me that Vivian is dead. Please, Calm don't down. say it. Calm down. You, you need to put yourself together. Listen, she's fine, Abby. I think she's dead. How can she be dead now? Vivian, babe, please now. We have a bright future together. Please, don't go. Please, now. Wake up. Call George. Oh, like do. Oh, like do. How can you tell me to be strong? This somebody I was just playing with a minute ago, and now she's dead. And you're telling me to be strong. I know. This is a dream. Please, 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 Call. Put it on speaker. Let's know what she has to say. Let's be sure she doesn't know her sister is here. I had you pick the call. Pick it. Hello, big sis. Yes. Ask me to stop. Yes, I, I've arrived. I'm at the city. Please, can you just come and pick me up? Please, just come now, please. You, you, you know I don't know anywhere around here. Please, I'm waiting for you, please.
what you have caused. It's because of you that I'm going through all this rubbish. As if I'm the one who sent you and Nvidia to be doing love and playing all around like children. Now she has given me an ultimatum that if I don't take her sister to the grave, she's going to kill me. Ah. No, Ouch. I didn't have anybody else now. At least you've seen that she's real. I'm oh, please, sorry. please don't tell me sorry or anything. Don't say that. I'm not supposed to be in the middle of all this mess. Well, you see that she's ah. real. You see that she's real. Ah. I'm really sorry, bro. Chantel. Chantel, what are you doing with that? Chantel. Ch Chantel, please, please. It hasn't gotten to this now. Please. Please. Just drop the knife. Drop the knife. You're not a killer. Please. We get so That's one you guys are. You killed my sister for your own selfish interest. No. The annoying part of it is that you took me to the police to report of her missing. You fooled me! But guess what? I won't let my sister dead to go that way. Not at all. Oh, you kill her, we did not. We did not kill her. Take me where you bury my sister. Okay, okay, we will. The heart of men are so evil. I can't even imagine that I am in the same house eating and sleeping. We the same people that kill me. She did not kill her. We did not kill her. It was an accident. She slipped and fell. She hit her head. She died of natural causes. Please believe me. Tell her now. If it was a mere accident, we would have reported to the police. We would have not buried my sister that way. You got down so evil. That's true. You have to take no. me to where you buried my sister. I, I will take you. We will take you. We will take you. We will take her, right? We will take you. We will take you. We will take you. Please, we will take you. We will take you. We will take you. No need, please. Calm down. Calm down. Let's go. Let's go. so wicked to have buried my sister here. What kind of humiliation is this? Sorry, we didn't mean to do it that way. We were just scared. We are scared that if the police find out about it, nobody will believe our story. Don't tell me that! My God, we bullish you people! You will have just bring the cops for us to bury! <laughs> no. no, 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 please, oh, I can't believe that you are dead, please come back, no. Oliver. Now that you've shown my sister where you buried me, assume my body and take it to my father's land and give me the kitchen there. Yeah. That might be a problem. If we go to your father's land, who knows what will happen? You've told your sister what happened already now. 
Do like I've said. Take me back to my family. I need you to give me last respect. Do I speak so loud? Please tell me now. Am I on my mind? I wouldn't lie. I just wanna spend the life with you, the life with you. Oh, you mind and true, no lies. But things don't sound to be this way now. I want you to take me out from where you got to. Dans les stocks. Talk what? Talk what? Why bring back my daughter in cops? Eh? They killed my sister. Oh, stop it now. Now we with no killer. She slipped and fell. She hit her head on tiles. It was an accident. Mama, I swear, Mama, I swear. It was an accident. It was an accident. I see your faces. You look suspicious. Can you please tell me the truth? Tell me what happened to my niece. Sir, we have said everything. We did not <laughs> kill her. We did not kill her. It was an accident. She slipped up there when she got 
How believable is it that a girl with you lived and fell down and died? Isn't it? Isn't it? You know very well how it started. You are coming here. It is because I pleaded with this angry youth. I mean, if not for me, you would have both of you would have died by now. You know it. Eh? Can you please tell me the truth? Well, we have said the truth. We've said what we know. I, I don't know what else to say. What do, I don't know what else we, we can say. Okay. Time. No problem. This settles it all. Because you are going to take oath by this. You will swear that you don't know anything. About our deaths. If you do, this thing will kill you. Accepted? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Accepted? Yes, sir. Good. Say you don't know anything, and if you know anything concerning her death, that you should die. Yes, sir, I can't stand here. I, can't I stand said, here. hold it, that you are ended in the sweat. Hold it, if you know you are innocent. Hold it. Lift it up. Lift it up. Um, I, George, lift it up. Oh. Uh, now, sweat. Sweat. I judge. I swear that I had nothing to do with Vivian Okafor's death. I did not kill her. But if I am lying, let this thing kill me. Let me die. It's... So now we are done. Pick it and swear. Pick it. Pick it. <laughs> Lift it up! Lift it up! Now swear! Swear! I, Oliver, swear that I did not have anything to do with Vivian Okafor's death. If I did, let me die. Let, let this kill me. Is that where you were? Ah. If you did, let you do what? Let me die. Let it kill me. If I did, I. Oliver had anything to do with Vivian Kapo's death. Let this kill me. Let me die. Keep it. Well, I am not too. I am not too convinced. <laughs> Mama, we need to stop the villagers from killing those boys. They didn't kill me. So what happened to you? It was an accident. I died while running around the house. Mama, you have to stop them. Please, you have to stop them. <laughs> you would have saved me. You would have survived for your mother's sake. <laughs> Simply listen, I am going to hand you over to this angry man. We have My queen. You know I love you so much, right? I know. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> no. I've been thinking. This is the time we, you know, have sex. Yeah. Are you sure? That's the same thing I want. Oh, baby, you need to just finish having it. So give me one week. One week? Yes! I, I, I can't, I can't <laughs> wait one week. I want it now. Ah! <laughs> 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 you said no. 
Okay, I want it now. <laughs> Oh, 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 don't say that trouble now, they will call police. Bro, she probably just passed out. I, I think the paramedics are in the best position to resuscitate paramedics. her. Paramedics? Do you think we have paramedics in this country? See, let, let's just take her upstairs. She probably fainted. There's no blood now. Okay, what do you want us to do? Take her upstairs for air. She'll wake up. Oh, man, I don't know why we're doing this. Okay, you, you carry her leg. Let's see what we can do. If you have to come now, hey, Jesus. If you have to now, please, come on, if you have, please, you can't do this, wake up, wake up, please, please, babe, please, Jesus, Jesus, please, wake up, do, do, George, 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 don't say it. George, please don't say it. Don't tell me that Vivian is dead. Please, calm don't down. say it. Calm down. You, you need to put yourself together. Listen, she's fine, Abby. I think she's dead. How can she be dead now, Vivian? Babe, please now. We have a bright future together. Please don't go. Please now. Wake up. Go, <laughs> George. Oh, like do. Oh, like do. Oh, you can't tell me to be strong. This somebody I was just playing with a minute ago, and now she's dead. I'm telling me to be strong. Down. I know. This is a dream. George, please, 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 Oh, put it on speaker. Let's know what she has to say. Let's be sure she doesn't know her sister is here. I, I had you pick the call. Speak it. Hello, big sis. Yes. Ask me to stop. Yes, I, I've arrived. I'm at the city. Please, can you just come and pick me up? Please, just come now, please. You, you, you know I don't know anywhere around here. Please, I'm waiting for you, please. Vivian appears to you? Yes. And what did she say? Yeah, she said they are innocent. That we should not let the angry you to kill. Yes. She said she slipped to the floor and that was it. Are you sure you don't want to deceive me into believing this people? <sighs> Can I sacrifice? The head of my daughter for their lives? This is impossible. I cannot do that. My mother is saying the truth. Yes. It's okay. Now, stay quietly here. I'll go out there and talk to them. Come here. 
Thank you. Thank you so much for bringing my corpse back to my family. I can now rest in peace. Oliver, you have a very good act. And I can't believe without blessing you, but you guys will be richer than your peers. And God will bless you with good and understanding rights. I appreciate the love you shared. I love you so much, and I will always do. It's too far. I'm sorry for everything. I have to go now. I'll never appear to you again. This is the last time you'll ever see me. Spend with you makes me feel so right. Tell me how to cope now, that it's in my way. Everything I do, I'm missing you, yes, I do. Feeling so hot, deep down, it's affecting my attitude. You know, I need you more than ever. No, I want you. I just wanna be in the wild with you Where the life for death I'm sorry that you hear no more Speaking to myself in the night and morning I know that you miss me more than I do Cause your love is not true Knowing that you're dead I'm losing my attitude I'm losing it I, I